welcome back. It's 2nd of March, April 2015. Although I may not upload this today, so if you're watching... Uh, anyway. I thought I'd do a, what they call a EDC uh, video. And EDC stands for Everyday Carry. Excuse me. And it's what... Uh, what what you carry every day hence called everyday carry but it's it's uh, it could be very it could be a lot of stuff could be very minimal stuff and if you search uh, YouTube for uh, everyday carry or EDC uh, you'll see there's a lot of different versions of it and uh, it could be a lot can be it could be very complicated it could be very simple it's just what you carry every day just for me personally it makes me feel better now I got mental problems so anything that makes me feel better is good so without further ado uh, usually I wear pants cargo pants but in the winter I wear line pants and uh, sometimes like this one doesn't have any cargo pockets or maybe they have one but uh here we go it'd be a bit different in the summer hey what the hell do you want get out of the get out of the camera your tail so let's start uh back pocket and i have my wallet and besides the regular stuff in the wallet uh i do have one of these little nifty dpx gear Hostile environment survival tools, like that. Is that too close? Okay. And all you do is break the edges off, and you have yourself a little uh, knife blade. And I don't know how well they work or anything like that. I've only got one. Well, I had a couple, but I gave them away. Uh, keep in mind, if you go on an airplane, you take this out, because uh, it'll show up on the x-ray for sure. Other than that, I just said the moral cash, bank cards, credit cards, uh, zippered pocket back there. I got uh, let, uh, zippered pocket. It's good. I got a couple of checks in there in case I had to write a check for something or other like that. And I usually carry my fishing license in the back there too. So that's the back right pocket. It's got my wallet. Back left pocket is where I carry. My handkerchief, or uh, what do they call them? Cotton bandana, bandana. It's not rag, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's packed in a Ziploc bag to keep it dry, and as well, there's two more smaller sandwich-type Ziplocs in there too, in case uh, I ever need to collect something. At least to have some kind of little uh, container or whatever to carry them in. So that's my back left pocket. Oh yeah, let's go to front right. Left, I mean. So, everything that goes in the pocket is actually attached to this monstrosity. And on here I have my new Swiss Army knife with a locking blade and plenty of pet fur. Uh, oh, <laughs> I, have, I have another one that's just like this, so I was looking for the lock, unlock thing in here, but here it's on the side. You just uh, pull that back, and it'll fold up. It also has a really good saw on it. Here, that doesn't lock. And, and it's got the normal stuff. Uh, bottle opener, can opener, scissors, corkscrew, mini screwdriver, uh, and then the little things here, there's tweezers, and a toothpick, which I use actually a lot. Okay, also attached to this carabiner is my flashlight that I carry every day, and it's a Nightcore flashlight, SRT3 Defender. And this can be set up to use CR123 lithium batteries 
or you can add a little uh, adapter that makes it longer that you can use just plain old AA batteries in it. So I get the, the power and the extra lumens from CR123s and the long shelf life of 123s. And, but I can also, uh, from somewhere, and I, I can't get those batteries, I can just get AA's and add the little adapter. It's very bright. It puts out somewhere around eight or 900 lumens. Uh, it has the flashing bit, the SRS, and stuff like that. So what's else on my little carabiner here is, let's see if we can do this some kind of controlled, controlled madness. I have a titanium whistle. That's my rat there. And I have this other keychain. And on it is one of those Exotech ferro rods. But you unscrew this part here too. And that's your little wee scraper to make sparks. Oh, hold up, virus. Now, I've yet to, and I want to make a video actually trying this little thing. I don't know why they didn't... You can put this in here and make an extension of that. But really, th this, is the, this is the weak point here, this little bit of a scraper here with that little nub of a handle. And uh, I think it'd be better if this attached to this. But then again, I'm just a brain damaged idiot, so who's to know? But I got fire here. I got a uh, Fisher Space Pen, Trekker Pen. And it is breaks upside down and cold and freezing and everything like that. I have a SOG knife key thing. So I always have another little blade, and it looks like uh, it locks in there too. But it looks like a key, so it's you know doesn't look too uh, uh, tactical or anything like that. And on here, I have a little container with uh, some tinder in here, one of those quick tinders. Just so I always have something to, to spark into. And the only thing I, else I have is one of these little survival pouches wrapped in uh, paracord. And I think there's, I don't know if there's a ferro rod in there, but there's some fishing line and some fishing hooks and stuff like that. And uh, another couple of things. It's the kind of thing that if you use it, you'll never get it back into that. But I carry it around. That's everything in the left pocket. Go to the right pocket. We have a tube of chapstick or lip grease, which you can also use for fire lighting. I have a bottle of Visine contact lens stuff because I wear contacts. I have a big lighter, full size, with a little. Uh, thing that it's in there and of course I took out the safety thing so it lights pretty good uh, this thing on the outside has a little retaining ring on one side there's small scissors and on the other side is a knife that's sharpened only with a chisel, kind of uh, one-sided thing. Uh, would I uh, stake my life on either the scissors or this knife in this? No. But it's nice to have. It doesn't make the lighter too much bigger, unless you're used to carrying a mini thick. And uh, I think it's pretty neat. I also carry my uh, coin pouch that my brother made for me. And I usually, I usually carry two of everything. Uh, 
two toonies, two loonies, two quarters, two dimes, and two nickels. But that, you know, it changes, but I emptied it out, and that's all I have in there. And this made it leather, and he even put a little wolf thing in the back for me. Now, in uh, my second front right pocket, or usually in my right cargo pocket, I got some pen and paper. I carry a pad like this, sort of like something like that, that's waterproof. And uh, along with my Trekker Space Pen on this, I also carry a mechanical pencil made out of steel, full of extra lead. I carry a Sharpie pen, which is, and then you have to worry, it'll write on almost anything, uh, just that it doesn't dry immediately, so you don't, you can smudge it up if you, if you don't take care. And this is a CRKT, same as my uh, knife. Uh, pen. And it's used as a tool as well. You can gouge this into your attacker's face there to collect some DNA samples. I think that's what they call it. Uh, it is actually a Fisher Space Pen as well, so it'll write on anything, anywhere. Uh, the back there kind of screws onto there. I used to carry another one that had a... Uh, fair seam rod in it, but uh, since I already carry a one, I didn't see any reason to carry uh, two of them. Well, I was going to say last but not least, but on this belt loop here, I don't know if it's in the camera view or whatever, I carry one of the titanium uh, doohickeys. Actually, there is a thing called a doohickey, but this is a uh, titanium. Uh, it's got things to pry up nails. It's got a screwdriver. It's got a bottle opener. It's got a cutter here for uh, seat belts. Apparently, you can use this to go wrench out something or other. You just put it on. And there's a little bit of a wrench here. And these grooves here, uh, I'm not too sure what they are, except just for getting a better grip with your thumb. So that goes on my right side. Then, I think this is the last thing, is my knife that I carry. And it's a, uh, it's also a CRKT, which is Columbia River Knife, something or other, I don't know what it is anyway. Uh, it's got a pla Zytel handle, I think it is. It is not assisted opening it's a flipper you just got to push down on this and it'll flip open I think assisted opening knives are illegal here in Canada but you can still buy them around uh, what the steel is I have no idea it's stainless steel and takes a pretty good uh, pretty good edge and with this jipping up here they call it and your finger groove down here it just feels good to me, and I think they're only about $35 if you look them up on the internet. And it's got the knife pocket, knife pocket? No, that's not, that's not the right thing. Clip here, pocket clip, so you can put it in your pocket. And that's what I carry every day, 24 and 7. And like I mentioned before, it makes me feel a little bit more prepared to face the day if I have something that I know if I get in a little bad angle or bad situation I have something to do something with and, uh, and so you know you should everybody should carry something like this maybe not as much as this but the other people carry a lot more they have like a pouch they strap on their belt with all kinds of goodies in it I don't have any first aid stuff here except for the bandana which I can use to uh, wrap around for as a bandage or something like that but I got uh, cutting devices uh, I got one oh geez I forgot something on my left side here is my multi-tool 
which is a SOG. Uh, I don't know what to call it, power lock or something like that. Uh, it's the uh, Canadian military issue one now. So I was going to say, cutting tools, I have this. I got this knife. I got this knife. I have the uh, little knife on my thing. So I got four blades. Uh, lots of writing things. I got the fire. I got the tinder. Whatever the heck's inside this, I can't remember. Uh, another blade here. That's five blades I have. Uh, three writing stuff. Waterproof paper. I don't think there's anything else I'd rather put in there. Not rather, but think I could. So yeah, that's my EDC, or everyday carry, and it's stuff that I carry that uh, makes me feel safer, and uh, everybody should look into something. Everybody should carry a knife, for sure. Even if you're working in an office and stuff like that, and you don't get out in the outdoors very much, you should have a, a pocket knife. Uh, either like this, or like this. It's not illegal to carry these things, and... Uh, Especially this with all the different tools and especially the oh, corkscrew So you always be the head of the party because you can open up one so There it is Might give you some ideas might not uh, You know if you have any comments uh, Please feel free to uh, comment or suggestions or uh, anything uh, additions I might have and uh, it was Muskrat Jim that uh, I seen as the last EDC one, and that's what uh, prompted me to make this. Okay then, uh, thanks for dropping by, Chris. Out.